once you've created all of the variations you want to create, what you're going to do is make a new document in PixelR. So you're going to go to File and then New Image. And um, the size of this, um, let's, it's going to depend on the shape of your, um, of your initial picture. Um, full HD is a good option. For me, my picture is square, so I'm going to do square HD instead of full HD. If your picture is a square, you can choose square HD. Otherwise, you can do full HD. And this is going to be my pop art uh, final. And I'll just keep white as the background. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add those images back in. So add an image and um, Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to put all of the images onto this one um, document. So I'm going to make this smaller. Um, I'm going to scale it down. And then I'm going to continue adding in the rest of my um, images. My pop art ones that I saved, the variations. What you want to do is get them even. So um, you can either have a little bit of space between them like these have, or you can um, have them right up against each other. Either way is fine. I made mine just a tiny bit bigger. And now I'm going to add my last two. Okay, if I have everything in the right place where I want it, then I can go ahead and save this as my final artwork. Again, you can do more than four. Four is the minimum. Pop art, so I left the T off of that. And it can be a JPEG as your final. And then um, this is going to get turned in on Google Classroom. All right, that's it. We're done.